Good morning, guys. From day three. <coughs> Already one heck of a start to the morning. We're on the wrong trail, or not trail, wrong, wrong path. <laughs> um, we thought we had to keep following this road. We don't. So we unnecessarily wasted, I don't know, how far do you think we went? Probably point two. Point two, quarter of a mile, something like that. Yeah. So we're heading back up this hill that we just went down unnecessarily. <laughs> and <laughs> It's a long day already. I know, we're yeah. planning for a marathon today, 26.2, and now we're tacking on unnecessary miles to this. Here we go. Let's go. We're on the right path now, but we were warned about big mud pits, and we found them. We just crossed the bigger one earlier, long one I should say, not bigger, but this is pretty gross here. So Retriever and I just had a whole bunch of creek crossings. I'm sorry I didn't film because they were not easy crossings. So I had to make sure that we did not slip in. <laughs> so there was no videoing. Oh, what is that over there? Looks like a little cabin or something. But we are making our way today. Honey, do. So everybody, we are on a gravelish road now so we're finally off the jeep track which is fantastic because there was a lot of stream crossings tons of mud oh my gosh so much mud so that's a good thing and now we're heading toward a more regular road uh we're heading into town um it was exactly nine miles from camp till we get to town nice yeah and so I don't know how many miles. Do you know how many miles we've done yet so far? I don't know. Uh, I think 2.4 was the yard. Oh, okay. Am I stabbing you with my poles? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're just on our way. Just um, happy to be done with that part of the road walking. And uh, we have a lot more road walking to go after the town. And then we hop back on trail. And from what we hear from the hikers yesterday, it's extremely overgrown again. Um, the one lady said that they pulled like 25 ticks off of one of their dogs and seven of them off of herself. And so yeah. if you notice, I'm wearing my buff today. Well, one, I'm doing it for sun protection because my neck got burned yesterday because we forgot our sunscreen again. That's just habit. Well, we're going to get it in like an hour or two. Yeah. So we'll be good. Yeah. But I also put the buff on. So that way my hair is completely covered because I have very thick uh, hair. So it's not easy to do a tick check in my head. <laughs> so I'd rather just wear this so I'm sure that there's no ticks. All right, see you up trail. See you guys. You guys are walking past the fluffy butt hut. And there are chickens. We are now passing Tuckahoe Lake. I love that name, Tuckahoe. <laughs> Looks so beautiful covered in this mist and fog. We are 4.8 miles from town. Retriever pointed out to me about what we find a lot of on the side of the road. Apparently, there are a ton of drunk drivers in West Virginia because all that we find are beer cans constantly littering the roads. There was a whole pile of them just like a few feet back. It was insane. Oh, there's more beer cans on that side of the road. Yeah. There's a whole pile of them. So don't drive in rural West Virginia unless you want to risk getting hit by a drunk driver, apparently. We get to go through this tunnel. And look at the water, it's flowing right next to it. That's neat. Currently walking through on Main Street and we are in White Sulphur Springs. 
there's a Dollar General up here somewhere. <laughs> and we're gonna stop there and get a couple little snacks and stuff to resupply. Then we are gonna keep heading out. We're gonna get some fast food though on the way out. Going to Hardee's, baby. I got a chicken biscuit and hash browns. Mm, yum, 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 yum. We're rocking on the road again. On the live long day. It never ends. It doesn't. Never. It doesn't. <laughs> so we had 4.2 miles from the Hardee's of more, uh, not, excuse me, 4.2 till the turn off off this main road. Then we, I think we get back on more like a uh, rural type road. And then we've got a little while longer than that. So we're actually 2.3 out from that turn off, but we have 5.7 miles left of road walking till we get back to the trail. Um, we're looking forward to getting off the road walk. Big time. But we're not looking forward to what we have to get into because we heard it's massively overgrown. Um, might even be worse than what we were dealing with our first day. Uh, did want to mention, we, when we were at the Dollar General, we met the most wonderful lady. Her name is Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, if you're Rhonda. Watching. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it was so wonderful meeting her. We actually had heard about her from a, another hiker on our first night, uh, French Broad. She had run into her. She had so many wonderful things to say about her. So when she approached us at the Dollar General, it was actually, it was actually so cool because when she said her name is Rhonda, I'm like, Wait a minute. <laughs> so it was really nice. And she watched some of my ET videos. So she recognized me. So that was really cool. And she was so amazing. And she donated to the charity that we're doing for the AKC Oncology uh, program. So thank you so much, Rhonda. That's amazing. We are so thrilled. And uh, yeah, and then we went to Hardee's. Ate the chicken and biscuit, which by the way was, it was really good. So good. Yeah, it really was. We we were like, oh man, it's just a biscuit with a piece of chicken on it. There was nothing else. But the chicken was so juicy and so um, flavorful. Whatever they spiced it with was so good. So we enjoyed it, right? I did. Yeah. All right, guys. A lot we, of cars. <laughs> a lot of cars. Sorry about that. Yep. Um, we'll probably catch up to you guys when we finally turn off the main highway. Bye. See you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. We are finally getting off the main highway and crossing onto a county road. Maybe there's some shade and maybe we won't risk getting hit by a car. Woohoo! <laughs> well, you guys, we thought we could take a quick break. We stopped on the side of the road. It was a little grassy area <coughs> with a tree with some shade. And I said, I hate to sit on the grass, but let's just do a tick check afterward. We'll be fine. So um, we sat down. Well, we spread out our pads, our little foam pads, sat down. I started to take my shoe off and I said, oh crap, a tick. There was a tick on my sock. And then <sighs> Retriever's like, no way. Said, yeah, look. Then he goes, oh shoot, I got a tick. The tick just got on his leg. Within seconds of us sitting in the grass, we got attacked by ticks. <laughs> so we hurried up, got off there, checked to make sure we didn't have any more ticks on us and our packs, and we're moving on. And we are not taking any breaks until we find a gravel area to sit down on or something with no grass. So now I'm terrified of doing the next part of the trail because it's in the woods where that girl already talked about having tons of ticks on her. So we're gonna um, slather on the Picaridin lotion before we get to that. Retriever. Yep, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, oh. beautiful woodpecker. There's a car coming. All right, gotta shut you guys off, talk to you up the trail. Oh my gosh, holy grail of sit down breaks. Water, cause we could dip our feet in, refill our bottles and we could sit down in the shade with no grass. Oh my goodness, taking our break. All right, we're currently on a two track road here. This is, as Retriever had stated, that this is better than what we've been on all day today so far. By far. Yeah, we've got shade. We're on some dirt as opposed to pavement. So 
We will take it. So Retriever has moleskin on one of his blisters and he doesn't want to mess it up. So if you notice, he is wearing one crock and one shoe and he's going to be crazy and hop this. So I said, I have to record this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> You're crazy. Hiking in my Crocs because we supposedly have another cream, cream, <laughs> stream crossing coming up and point two from one that we just crossed. And I'm not putting my shoes back on and take them right back off. But now my feet are really killing me. <laughs> I have so many blisters on my feet. I don't even know if I've mentioned that yet. Um, from the first day of walking in completely soaked feet and then day two walking with soaked feet all day because of day one and road walking all day, I never get blisters. I think on my entire AT trek, I had one blister and that was a day that I hiked with wet feet the whole day. I had one blister. So this time I have, let me see, on my right foot, I have one blister on my big toe. On my left foot, I have one giant blister in between my big toe and the toe next to it. Then I have a large blister that spreads from that second toe all the way to right before the pinky toe underneath and then I also have one that goes up into the two toes um, in the middle and then I have a big one on the bottom of my pinky toe my entire left foot is a blister and it hurts <laughs> um, but I mean what can you do I don't know what I can do to prevent it besides stop having wet feet and stop road walking <laughs> the bugs are atrocious right now and obviously and we have had roughly I don't know like six stream crossings that were not labeled in gut tucks there was not even a waypoint for them so we had no idea if there was any water <laughs> let alone a try to rock hop or take your shoes off type of thing so yay we're roughly point two from getting off this jeep track and actually heading back onto quote unquote trail we will see because from what we hear, there is no trail. <laughs> so hopefully it's well blazed. We slathered on Picaridin. Um, hopefully, hopefully no ticks. Cross your fingers. We're gonna stop short today. Um, we're just, it's very slow going uh, between long road walks, creek crossings, the blisters and the heat and <laughs> a lot going on today you guys so we're cutting our day short um i'll let you know for sure if i'm wrong but we're hiking 21 miles instead of 26.2 i don't know what for sure if it's 21 but um i'll let you guys know there it is you guys that yellow blaze on the tree we haven't seen one in two days <laughs> finally getting back to suppose a trail right now it looks like it's just a deep track so we'll see so this is the trail so far it's not terrible we can actually see a trail <laughs> that is a perk um, there is a little bit of plants kind of growing into the trail but overall this is I mean I'll take this any day this is nowhere near as bad as day one where there was no trail yeah, so yeah, yeah, this is definitely fine. So, oh God, please let it be this way the rest of the way. <laughs> Back to an overgrown trail again. Yay. We made it, you guys. We made it to the Graham Shelter. Oh my gosh. They do have a beautiful water cache and oh table. My oh my lord, we're so happy. And chairs. And chairs. Guys, this is the best shelter in the world. Oh, oh they got to register. 
Oh, we're gonna die, but we'll be yeah, back. Oh my goodness, guys, end of day three. And we did 21.7 miles today, so shy of where we were planning, but we're actually grateful we stopped at the shelter. Um, you could Thank probably, God. Yeah, you could probably tell we pitched our tent inside the shelter, but... Um, we had to pitch this the, the, in the, in the uh, shelter because... Yeah. Go ahead. Um, we're not concerned at all about anybody coming because we're the only people who've been here and forever and the last people who've been here were the trail maintenance people. So, um, anyway, we're doing it because this trail is full of ticks and it's so overgrown. The ticks are terrible. They're um, everywhere. And they're inside the shelter, too. We were sitting down on the chairs here and... He got three ticks on him in a matter of, what, five seconds? Five seconds. And then while he was talking about a tick, I looked down, and there was one crawling up my sock. And then I look over, there was one on my backpack. And we're like, oh, heck no. So we were like, they're inside the shelter. So we started hurrying up, checking. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times we checked our stuff. Individually pulled out, excuse me, everything. And then we slowly start throwing things inside the tent. Uh, then we quadruple checked our bodies and threw ourselves in the tent. And we're not getting out for the rest of the night. And then there was a tick crawling up the tent wall that Retriever spotted. So I flicked it off the tent wall. Two and, minutes later. Yeah. And then right after, Retriever's like, oh, crap, there's a tick in here. There was one crawling around on a sleeping pad. We don't know where it came from. We checked everything. But so, that's the thing with these things. They're so small and we have... A billion items. Yeah. It could so, be anywhere. Yeah, we're we're not happy right now. We're very not happy. This I hate to say this, but this trail has been one thing after another. And not gonna go into any detail today. Yeah. Um spirit video is probably pretty long anyway. But um we just wanted to make a closeout video and let you know where we're at. We're at a shelter and um that's that. So guess what we'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. <laughs>